Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, Happy to go, welcome to five. We're gonna get started. Um, so first it just says, um, it wants to start with our line plot. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go, and as we go, we're gonna cross off, okay? So one six, I'm gonna put a tally there, and that's one of our X's, okay? I'm gonna cross it off as I go. Three six, three six, tally, X. Four six, tally, X. Two six, tally, X. Three six, tally, X. One six, tally, X. Three six, tally, X. And three six, tally. Sorry, wrong one, guys. I will get that. Just a second, and I will fix that so that nobody goofs. The wonders of whiteout. Okay. All right. And that was our last three six. So now it says, how many students compared times? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight students that compare, okay? What is the difference between the longest time and the shortest time the student spent on the bus? Well, okay, so some of them spent four-sixths of an hour, and some of them spent one-sixth of an hour, and to find the difference, we subtract. So four minus one, three. Three-sixths of an hour, okay? You guys are gonna do the exact same thing for four and five, okay? You're gonna make a tally table and make a line plot. This is a tally table, this is a line plot, okay? You're gonna do that for four and you're gonna do that for five, okay? That's all you have to do for them, okay? We're gonna go over to the lesson check. You guys are gonna do those and spiral review. Bridget is allowed to play online games for 75th, 100th of each, an hour each day. Write this fraction as a decimal. Well, all that means is that the last number needs to land in the hundredth spot. Well, that would be the 10th and that would be the hundredth. So we're good, 0.75. You can put a zero in front of it if you want, doesn't change anything. Okay. All right. Bobby's collection of sports cards has three tenths baseball cards, 39 one hundredths football cards. The rest are soccer cards. What fraction of Bobby's sports cards are baseball or football? Okay. So. Okay. So. First. I need to have the same denominator, okay? The smallest number that 10 and 100 both go into is gonna be 100. Well, in order to get 10 to 100, I multiply it by 10, which adds a zero. In order to get 30 to 100, or sorry, I multiply 10 by 100, I have to multiply the three by 100, which gives us 3,100, okay? So now my denominator stays the same, and I get 69, 100. Okay. Okay. Jeremy gives his horse two, 12 gallons of water each day. How many one quart pails of water is that? Okay. So now we have 12 gallons and we want to go to quarts. Okay. Now, on our friend, Mr. Robot. Gallons and quarts touch each other. So I can go straight from gallons to quarts, okay? So I'm gonna start with what I know, which is 12 gallons. That's what it gave me, okay? Now, I know that in one gallon, 
there are four quarks. Okay. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to cancel out my gallons. I wanted to end up in quarts and I do. Okay. And 12 times four is 48. 48. You can write one quart pails if you want, 48 one quart pails, but it's going to be 48 quarts. Okay? All right. An iguana at the pet store is five feet long. Measurements for the iguana gauges are given in inches. How many inches long is the iguana? All right. So it says, I'm going to do what we got to do here. Ready? Five feet. When one foot is 12 inches. Okay, so I cancel out feet. I'm left in inches. And five times 12 is 60. 60 inches. Done. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.5. Come on back for 12.6. See you soon.